Hi, I'm Jim Gaffigan. Now, I don't know if you're like me, but I love hot dogs. A lot. Like many people, whenever I'm at a ball game or a movie, I enjoy eating four or five hot dogs. Sure, the hot dogs at these places might be like five bucks a pop, but hey, we're talking about hot dogs here. Anyway, early one morning recently, right before heading to bed, I was in the grocery store buying a block of cheese and a six-pack of beer for breakfast. I saw this sign that announced a package of eight hot dogs on sale for two dollars. I thought, ha, this must be a typo or something. Surely the store must mean twenty dollars. I picked up the package of hot dogs, and sure enough, right there on the package, the price tag clearly stated two dollars. But I still didn't believe it. So I picked up another package, and sure enough, two dollars. So I held up the package and asked some old woman near me, Have you seen this, or am I dreaming? Well, she looked at me like I was drunk or something. Granted, I was, but not stumbling or anything. So she didn't have to look at me like that. <laughs> I mean, what a gloomy goo. Leaving that black cloud in my dust, I skipped up to the cashier, paid $2 for an 8-pack of hot dogs, brought them home, and then I, Jim Gaffigan, actually cooked them, believe it or not, in my very own kitchen. I swear, I'm not lying. Sure, it wasn't that easy, but I figured it out. Being the kind of person who likes to share his good fortune, I'd like to now give you my recipe for homemade hot dogs that taste as good as the half dozen we all buy at the ballpark. I might be backtracking, but first, you're going to have to do a little shopping. Since we're making hot dogs, definitely buy hot dogs. I find it best to find hot dogs in the hot dog section of your grocery store. Okay, so if you've got hot dogs, let's get started. Don't be afraid to write some of these instructions down. Cooking hot dogs can get complicated. Step 1. Opening the hot dog package. Take your hot dog package and open it up. I like to tear it open with my teeth unless my wife is in the room. Then I'll use a knife, a key, or a ballpoint pen. Either way, be careful. That package is not just filled with fresh hot dogs. There's hot dog juice in there. You don't want to spill that juice on your shirt. The shirt will smell like hot dogs for a month. Unless, of course, someone washes the shirt for you. Step 2. Prepping the hot dog. Take a hot dog out of the package with your fingers. Put the hot dog in the microwave. If your wife or mom is around, put the hot dog on a plate or something paper before you place it in the microwave. That way they can't complain about having to clean up your greasy mess later on. Step 3. The microwave. The microwave can be the most confusing part of making a hot dog. If you're like me, I find it hard enough trying to figure out how to open the damn microwave door, let alone set the cooking time. Don't worry, you'll get it eventually. Just keep hitting buttons. Set the microwave for a minute and push start. This will most likely be the button with start printed on it. If you can't find the start button, yell for your wife or mom. Step 4. Cooking the hot dog. Once you hit start, you should hear some noise, and sometimes the inside of the microwave starts spinning. I always sit back and watch the action. The window on the microwave is there for that reason. Like a lot of people, I like to hum along to the microwave. Mm. I'm a very musical person. Step 5. The bing. When you hear a bing, stop staring at the microwave. Once you've figured out how to open the door, grab the hot dog with your fingers. Warning, this sucker is going to be hot. If someone's around, use a fork or something to stab it with. Step 6. Bunning your hot dog. If you still live at home or are married, you might have hot dog buns. So check around the kitchen. If you don't have buns, go to step 7. If you do have a hot dog bun, put the cooked hot dog in the pre-sliced part of the bun. I recommend the top sliced buns. Your hot dog is less likely to roll out. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Now, if you only have hamburger buns, cut or tear the hot dog in half and eat it like a hamburger. However, get ready for way too much bread, though. Step 7. Dressing your hot dog. Now you're ready to put whatever you like on your home-cooked hot dog. 
your choices are endless. You got your ketchup, your mustard, your relish, your onions. Hell, you could put peanut butter on it for all I care. Hey, it's your hot dog, buddy. Unless you're a male person. In that case, yeah, I really have nothing to say to you, weirdo. Warning. Don't try to force your bunned hot dog in a mustard jar. Not only could the hot dog break in half, you're going to end up with way too much mustard on that puppy. Another warning. Don't put the condiments directly on the bun. Unless you're a soggy bun person. In that case, I have nothing to say to you. Weirdo. Well, there you have it. A homemade hot dog you made yourself. At home. <laughs> I hope you've learned something. Lord knows there's no hot dog making schools out there. And those microscopic directions on the package are just too darn confusing. Feel free to pass this Jim Gaffigan homemade hot dog recipe on to any of your friends. Thank you. Now take it out like this. I had to groom them in. Take on the school, take on the school again.